All right, so just continuing on here from the first video, we wanna be looking for accessory first and then ignition. Accessory, maybe if you're installing an amplifier or something you just want on on an accessory. Um, we have two clicks on the key cylinder. The first is accessory and the second one is ignition. So we want to find 12 volts on the first click. See, we got the dash lights off, but um, we're going to cycle the key to the first click first. We got 12 volts. Now, with the second click, we'll get the dash lights to come on. There's a second click. We got the dash lights. I'll turn them off, but we still have it on an accessory. Still got 12 volts. We know that's on our accessory wire. Uh, I'm going to show you on the multimeter so you guys can see off both the probe and the multimeter which I recommend using the multimeter it's safer some people accidentally power probe things and probe wires and burn fuses or burn modules and that's not good so anyway here you see 12 volts with the accessory key and uh, same thing you're just gonna look for a 12 volt signal and that's with the first click when the dash lights off and that would be your correct wire. Now here we got the yellow wire. We're now testing for ignition, uh, true ignition at that. So basically, um, you see the radio is on, off. And that's accessory on. And dash lights are off, but the radio is on, and we all have 12 volts. That means that's a good thing. Now with the second click, you see it go to 12 volts. The dash lights are on. So we know that's our ignition signal. Now, true ignition will stay 12 volts when you crank the car. So right now, you'll get a small drop in voltage. But I'm going to crank the car, and you'll see that it stays at basically 12 volts. And that's what we consider true ignition. Um, just certain directions will tell you to tag true ignition, and others will just tell you to tag uh, ignition source. So that's what we're looking for with true ignition. I'll show you now on the power probe what that looks like. Basically, same thing. You might just get a small voltage drop, but when I crank the car here, you see I go to 12 volts, crank the car, drop to 11 only. Now it's up to 14 because the alternator kicked in. So that's going to be our true ignition wire. Now just to get an example of what a non-true ignition looks like, I'm going to switch the wire one more time. Um, so we'll take it off this guy now. And basically when you crank the car now, you're going to get uh, 12 volts. It's going to disappear. So here we are with the third wire now. And we'll start with the power probe this time. So you're at 12 volts. Ignition's on. As soon as I crank the car, you're going to see a drop. See? Drops to zero. Car started. Now it went back. So that is not true ignition. Um... Now I'll show you with the multimeter, same deal. It might be a little trickier to read with the multimeter, but you'll get the idea. Um, so the car is running right now. It's at 14 volts. Turn it off. Turn ignition on. And crank the car. Crank the car. It's going to drop to zero again. Then it goes back up to 12. So you'll know that is not true ignition. All right, now just stay tuned for the next video. I'll show you guys a uh, starter wire and um, a little a couple tips about that.